Hi, everybody. Thanks again for joining us on Celebrating Act Two as Art Kirsch and I once again review a fabulous old TV show or old movie from the Vintage Film Channel. This time it stars Burr Lives, one of my favorites. Yeah, it was, I, I thought this was actually uh, really terrific. And I don't remember from its original show. Is it, uh, what was it, John? Uh, uh, the well, 60s sometime? 1965, I think. 65, 66. Yeah. One so season. It only aired. Yeah. But, but, I was going to say. Your turn. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was great. The acting with him, Burl Ives. I mean, what's not to like about Burl Ives? Everybody loved him. He was a great singer. We all know that. Uh, uh, yep. This wonderful voice. Uh, but he was a terrific actor. And yeah. I know I've seen him in other things, but... Uh, even every single uh, cast member, and most of them were there for the entire 17 or 20 episodes, whatever it was. Uh, it was uh, him and uh, this guy who you see on the screen was a Harvard-trained tutor. He was a, uh, a self-made billionaire. They called him a billionaire, referred to him as a billionaire. Uh, Before uh, anybody I, knew what a billion was really worth. Huh? Right. A billion here, a billion there. It all yeah. started with Burl Lives. Uh, but he's got this wonderful voice. He's got this wonderful yep. presence. And the characters were, even for a sitcom, uh, uh, well acted, believable. Uh, it's not, it's not a very well. Really you know, Art, this is one of those classic television cases where they build a show. They've got a famous character, mm -hmm. famous actor, really, and they build a show around him. Hey, well, everybody likes Burl Lives. Let's give them a show. You know, that kind of thing. In this case, it turned out pretty well. They gave him a family, three kids, even though he's uh, uh, their grandfather or something like that. And they gave him a, a, a position. You know, he's a billionaire. They created some good characters and they have some good storylines. Uh, I'm sorry that this show didn't last more than a season. I, I think I it could have done very well. I agree. And it was written uh, by uh, Abe, Abe Burroughs and some other f famous guy that I sort of remember the name. Oh, famous, really? com famous comedy writers, yeah. But they yeah. were absolutely first rate. And, you know, I don't know whether the politics of it all or what it was or who knows what, why it didn't make another season. I, I wasn't able to research that. Uh, yeah. But all these actors... And the production value was at a high enough level that the stuff looked real. It didn't look like a set. So they literally, it was a well-done production. It just yeah, stunning it's that they nice. didn't make it. Yeah. For me, it's all about Burl Ives. Yes. All right. I'm absolutely. a big Burl Ives fan. Burl Ives was a very successful musician, uh, really a folk singer. He was very big, very popular during the folk singing days. Mm. Uh, he had... I don't know, three or four number one hits in the, bit, yeah. on the pop charts. He he had the hit for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which I think was written by Gene Autry, but he had the hit. Mm -hmm. He had the cover hit. Um, he did a famous song called Little Bitty Tear, Let Me Down. Is that right? Little Bitty Tear, Let Me Down. Great song. He did uh, Foggy Foggy Do, which is, again, kind of a slow And by the way, I know, I know that Burl Lives is not your best uh, uh, gimmick that you you do you good languages and everything, but give us a little Burl lives. I don't Burl lives. I can't do that. He had a wonderful gravelly voice, and besides being a very uh, uh, popular, successful musician, he was a great actor. He did, and he he mm. never changed. You, you know, you see that little string tie and that look. That's Burl lives. That's the way right. he looked as a musician. That's the way he looked as an actor. People hired him to be Burl Lives, essentially. Right. He won an Academy Award in 1959 for, I think, don't quote me on this, Big Country. Mm. And um, he was uh, uh, Best Supporting Actor in that movie. So he was in movies. He was in television. Made a lot of sense to give him a TV show. I, I just don't know why it only lasted one season. So anyway, we don't have to ruin anything uh, by giving you uh, any of the plot points. It's it's actually, go see it. You'll enjoy this. And if you haven't been to Vintage Film Channel before, this is a good reason to go, okay, Cracker B, and yep. watch it. And then if you haven't been to Vintage Film Channel before, you're going to get introduced to, to dozens and dozens of 
amazing bits of memory that you might have had from your childhood. But this is a quality one. If, if you've seen it, you're going to love that it's here. If you haven't seen it, like my, like me, you're going to love that you actually ran across this because I missed this first time around and it was terrific. Yeah. Be sure to write in the comments when you visit the Vintage Film Channel that it was recommended by two old guys. Who, who are those? I don't know. People I've heard about. Ah. Anyway, see you guys soon. Vintage Film Channel on YouTube. VintageFilmChannel.com. We'll see you soon. See you in the movies. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.